Hey y'all, so this is a very important day today. Um, I wanted to read y'all, if y'all haven't heard, Amber Geiger convicted of murder for killing Welcome John. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly. Um, I will put the link in the article below. But um, basically it says this story is continuously being updated. A Dallas County jury on Tuesday convicted fire police officer Amber Geiger of murder for fatally shooting Botham Jean, Botham Jean in his apartment last year. Cheers broke out in the hallway outside the courtroom after the verdict was announced shortly after 10.30 a.m. Testimony in the punishment phase of Geiger's trial will proceed this afternoon with another round of jury deliberations to come after that. In Texas, murder carries a sentence of 5 to 99 years or life in prison. The charge is not eligible for probation. Geiger, 31, fatally shot 26-year-old Jean in his apartment last year. She had said she mistook his apartment for her own and she thought Jean was a burglar. She is the first Dallas officer convicted of murder since the 1970s. You guys can read the article. Um, I will put the link in, but oh my goodness, like so Lady Nika has a live on right now and she's saying that do you guys think this is a step in the right direction? And I think it is. Finally, some justice. Finally. Um, because that's the most, one of the most horrible things I have ever heard. Um, you guys, I'm still, I had a tooth pulled yesterday, so I'm still a little swollen, but it feels a lot better than it had been. But, um, I mean, you imagine that your house, your home is supposed to be your sanctuary somewhere it's supposed to be your castle and um after you dealt with this crazy world all day and you go home and they said he was actually eating a bowl of ice cream in his pajamas on his couch when she busts in there so she didn't notice that you know they said um he had artwork on his walls, and she didn't have any artwork. She had a dog. There was no dog. Um, the smell of the house. People have different smells in their homes. Um, if they had to let her get off, I think it would have been just total mayhem. Uh, probably pretty much everywhere, because that would have been ridiculous. And I'm glad to see that there's no probation attached to that so um you know she's not gonna be able to I, I can't imagine what her life would be like in prison um being especially a, a police officer um and especially the crime she committed I, I mean there is no excuse for what she did unless she was on some some angel dust and she was uh, sniffing bath salts or something like that but it's still no excuse um, for what she did I think that's absolutely ridiculous and he wasn't even from this country I think he was from St. Lucia and um, I heard that he wanted to go back to St. Lucia to uh, possibly become a prime minister and everyone has good things to say about him um, I just think when I heard about this story, I just say, I, now if they would have let her go, not guilty, can you imagine um, the police officers that may be crooked, you can just bust in your house and say, oh, I thought I lived here and just kill you. Or anybody for that matter, like anybody. So that was a very scary situation. I'm so sorry that he had to lose his life like that i can't even imagine something like that i'm just after i done dealt with this crazy world i come home to chill 
and then somebody just bust in and kill you. And I'm not sure what the story is about how it was the door unlocked or something. His door was ajar. Um, if you guys know that part of the, of the story, you can tell me um, down in the comments. Um, what do you guys think about this verdict? I, I think it is a step in the right direction. Guys, don't forget, if you didn't already, um, I'm still trying to grow this channel. So, um, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.